Hello friends, hope you're all doing great. In today's video, in light of leak season just around the corner, we're going to take a deep dive look into Paradox Pokemon and have a look at everything that has been leaked so far to get ourselves familiar with things that are potentially coming in the games. Nothing about Paradox Pokemon has officially been confirmed yet, so if you are wanting to stay spoiler free, obviously it goes without saying you probably aren't on the right video. Go check another video out on the channel. we got a bunch of other Scarlet and Violet content in today's video in particular it is not going to be covering anything officially released and i'm pretty surprised about it so far obviously this is the macio.it site that'll be linked down in the description if you want to check it out it's got a bunch of information about all sorts of different things leaked information officially confirmed information about the new games so it's a really great resource to come on and have an explore get yourselves up to speed with everything that has been going on in the leak community and official confirmed community for the new games leak season is just around the corner and scarlet and violet dropping in like just over three weeks time so you would imagine there's going to be a lot of information coming out very soon so paradox pokemon today is what we're going to be talking about and we can have have a look so an overview of paradox pokemon they have a really great breakdown here let's talk about paradox pokemon what they are what we know the first thing everyone should understand is they are new pokemon and uh, not forms or variants they have their own name and pokedex number so a bit like the regional fakes that we had you know like wiglet it is a kind of divergent form of Diglett so it is its own species and that is exactly what the Paradox Pokemon are going to be like as well so it's going to be like a new category of Pokemon they coin it a bit like Ultra Beasts so that'll be like a category on their own Paradox will be separate to everything else seems like they divide into two groups which will be ancient and future forms there could be two different Paradox Pokemon based on the same Pokemon and Paradox Pokemon do not evolve they should be, it says here, OP Mons in battle and every paradox is a dual type. Seems like one of its original typings always remains. So they've got a, like a little infograph here uh, showing how it works. Like Amoongus is going to have Ancient Gust. So we know that from the leaks that we're going to get an Ancient uh, Paradox Pokemon Amoongus. We've already seen kind of pictures leaked from the actual game about this Pokemon um, and then you've got some more examples here like Don Fan is going to have an ancient form and a future form and then Volcarona is the same as well uh, whether they're version exclusives or not I would presume that they probably are. Uh, Coriodon, Mariodon, um, obviously these are going to be spoilers down below so again we have done the spoiler warning but just to make sure uh, we've seen Size Lazar it has been released in the official trailers that we've seen already but Size Lazar probably going to be the kind of the normal version and then you're going to get the ancient form of Sizazel which will be Coriodon and then the future version which will be Mariodon which makes complete sense you know one looks ancient one looks kind of futuristic uh, characteristics of the characters and then we'll come down to the two kind of separate camps here we've got the paradox the ancient forms and then the paradox uh, future forms and uh, we can take a look at both of them here so what have we got so far and uh, what has been leaked obviously the Amoongus is something that we've talked about it is going to be part grass type but we don't know the secondary typing on these on this paradox Pokemon um, and that's kind of true for most of them some of them do have their second typings confirmed but a lot of them don't you know so we'll look at the Amoongus here uh, this is fan art of course but we have had a leaked image of this Pokemon from what looks like imagery from the games about this Pokemon here which is the ancient Amoongus other than that though we don't really know too much about them uh, you know we get the comment about they should be OP so you would imagine they're gonna have a different kind of spread of stats their stats should be different if they are getting different types their are their, their own Pokemon as well on Pokedex number and um, so you would imagine their stats will be slightly different and it'll be interesting to see what kind of typings that we get with some of them as well that's the exciting part that I'm really looking forward forward to seeing uh, we've got an uh, ancient jigglypuff as well we've seen imagery from the games of these as well i think this is like an enhanced image of of those game images that were leaked um and that, i think that was kaka but it's going to be fairy and then it's secondary 
typing is still unknown. We're going to have an ancient form of Mistrevious as well. Uh, it's going to be a ghost and fairy typing, which is pretty cool. Yeah, other than that, not really too much information. A Volcarona is one of those Pokemon that has got an ancient form and then it's going to have a future form as well. So this is the ancient form. Unfortunately, it's not got a fire typing with it. It's going to be bug and supposedly fighting, which is kind of interesting. This fan art is banging though. It looks amazing. If it looks anything like this in game, I'm all for it. So that, that is really cool. Uh, future Volcarona and Ancient Volcarona has both variants. So, and you can see here, uh, Ku has put up a lot of teasers about it as well as Kaka as well when he was leaking or she was leaking things or they were leaking things. Um, and then we're gonna have probably one of my favorite Ancient Forms or Paradox Pokemon. Probably not my favorite, but one of them I'm really looking forward to is Ancient Salamence. And I think this is so cool. Again, the final that we're getting for these Paradox Pokemon, you know, it looks so good, so good. So Game Freak have got a, a lot to live up to in my mind as well. And you know, the, the fact that they've not released any information about Paradox Pokemon to up to now is crazy. I just can't believe it that they're kind of still sitting on Paradox Pokemon is something that hasn't been revealed yet. Uh, Salamence Ancient Form is going to have the Dragon and Dark typing, really cool typing. So kind of mimicking like Hydreigon as that Dragon Dark typing. There we go. We know from Ku's leaks there that is going to be that Dragon and Dark typing. Uh, another Ancient Form, Donphan, it's going to have a split as well. It's going to have an Ancient Form and a Future Form. And we're going to have a Ground and Support supposedly fighting for its ancient form and this would be cool because Don fans are Don fan one of my favorite Pokemon you know Gen 2 Pokemon it doesn't really get too much love so it's nice to see Don fan getting some love in these new games and it'll be interesting to see kind of the design of Don fan as well going into these new titles Magneton surprisingly gonna get an ancient form which kind of I would have thought if the Magnemite line got an evolution it would be Magnezon got an ancient form and a future form potentially but it looks like it's just gonna be Magneton uh, the typing is unconfirmed at the minute, so we have no information on Magneton other than this tweet from Ku and uh, that it's going to get an ancient form. So that is pretty much all we've got for this one so far. And then we come down to Ancient Suicune, which is going to be super hype when this thing drops. Supposedly going to be only available in the DLCs though. So when the DLCs come out for Scarlet and Violet, whenever that will be, um, probably six to nine months after the games drop, maybe it'll be in the first one or the second one, depending on how many DLCs we get, obviously, but it is going to be DLC content supposedly and Suicune is going to be one of the legendaries that does get an ancient form which is actually really exciting because I, I like the idea of it not being tied to just regular Pokemon but some of the legendaries as well and Suicune is going to be very cool if it does get that ancient form so that's all of the ancient forms obviously Coriodon is an ancient form we know kind of this already um from everything that we've seen dragon and fighting type as well which is i don't think confirmed on the official website yet the typing of coriodon which is super interesting so that is the ancient forms and then we can take a look over to the future forms that we're going to get as well and um starting off with future deli bird which is pretty cool because deli bird definitely deserves a buff its regular form is pretty weak uh, it's a quirky Pokemon for sure, and it's going to get a future form, supposedly ice and water, or it's going to be its typing. Um, and we really didn't get much information. I think this might be from Ku or someone else, and Kaka kind of, kind of confirmed something around it as well, looking like Santa Claus. So that is all we've got on Delibird. We're going to have future Gallade as well. Little change to its type in it's going to be a fighting fairy type uh, rather than a fighting psychic type which is kind of interesting unique type in as well looks like a fusion between Gallade and Gardevoir Archer so the kind of fusion both types and uh, the future form will be something like this again the fan art for these is just amazing and uh, you can see kind of the, the leaked information about it below there as it's shown future Hariyama Hariyama one of my favorite fighting types I love Hariyama so super happy to see this thing get a paradox form uh we don't know it's dual typing confirmed we know it's part fighting but what it will be whether it'll be something like dark I'm kind of hoping it'll be something completely different from what we've had before um hopefully it's not a fighting fire type because we've got so many fighting fire types hopefully they kind of pull something out the bag that makes it quite unique um 
I don't know what that would be yet, but uh, a, a new combination uh, would be very cool. Maybe fighting normal or something like that. I don't know. Let's see. But uh, very exciting that we're going to get a future Hariyama. And then we come on to future Volcarona. Um, we've already covered its ancient form. It is going to get a future form as well. This one is going to be fire. So it's going to kind of be fire and potentially poison is its other typing um so th that is probably the better typing out of the ancient and the future form and i think ku has said that the, the the ancient forms kind of get screwed over a little bit with typings where the future forms all seem to have better typings the fire and the poison is an interesting combination here uh, and then we get probably my favorite one, most hype one, as many of you will know. If you've been on the channel for a little while, Tyranitar is my all-time favorite Pokemon for it to get a future form is very exciting. I am uh, really hyped for this Pokemon out of everything. Very interested to know its typing, whether or not it'll keep the rock, whether it'll keep the dark. Um, I'm kind of hoping it keeps the dark typing. And dark seem to be a very prominent type within Scarlet and Violet. So... I would say probably out of everything, dark typing will be kept and it'll maybe get, imagine if it gets a steel typing, it looks very kind of robotic. So it would make sense that steel typing's on there. Um, steel and rock is a type that's been done a million times before. So I'd be a little bit sad if that was the typing with it. Um, but we'll see what happens. But Tyranitar is going to get a future form. Kind of sad that we're not going to get an ancient Tyranitar form. I feel like well, that would be super badass as an ancient type form as well it seems like kind of an ancient sort of pokemon but looks like we're just getting a future form at the moment future dawn fan we've already said that it is going to get an ancient form it's also going to get a future form supposedly ground and electric which is a really unique uh type in as well and uh pretty exciting again the fan art it's pretty cool for this one and obviously all the future forms are going to have like futuristic designs as well which is another aspect of the paradox pokemon that you know is going to be quite cool to see uh, we're going to get a future high dragon it's going to be keeping the the dark type in so that's another hint to maybe Tyranitar keeping its dark typing and um, then the flying typing is going to be added onto it for its future paradox form. We're going to have the other alternative legendary got Suicune in an ancient form and in the future form we're going to get Verizian. Uh, we don't have any information on its typing but again it looks like it's hinted at going to be released in DLC content only but future Verizian very cool. It does open the door for other legendaries as well. Obviously this is leaked information so we don't have all information on uh, extra DLC content, extra legendaries that might have an ancient or future form, but it opens a door by knowing that, you know, we're going to get Suicune, we're going to get Verizian in these paradox forms that we could potentially get other legendary Pokemon as well. So that'd be interesting to see. And that wraps up all the leaked information that we've got about paradox future forms, rounding off with Mariadon here, which is going to be that dragon and electric type that we've seen. Love to hear your thoughts on the paradox Pokemon, what your thoughts are on them generally as Pokemon, what Pokemon you hope to see as Paradox kind of ancient forms or future forms that we haven't had leaked yet because obviously we've only had a certain amount of information leaked. This might be all we get, but there might be stuff that hasn't been leaked yet that we get further down the line. All in all, very exciting stuff though, and I cannot wait for more information on these Paradox Pokemon in particular. Hopefully they are a lot stronger. It, it sounds like they're gonna be a lot stronger in game than their regular forms, like their base forms that we would normally be used to. And um, yeah, we'll have to see if any official confirmation comes out before these games drop, or we're gonna get the release of the games, and then they're gonna do official announcements afterwards. We've had hints as well of six and seven star raids in the terror raids, and this is where you're gonna predominantly find these Paradox Pokemon. So there will be interesting ways to get these in the game and potentially with a day one glitch or a day one update that is maybe not gonna be done in Scarlet and Violet when it drops, there is gonna be a glitch in the games where you're gonna be able to get these Paradox Pokemon in these higher level raids for really easily. They're gonna have very low HP, so you're gonna be able to access them very quickly and probably farm them without the updates. So that might be something that a lot of us can take advantage of if we don't get that patch day one. So we'll have to see what happens with that. This has been a fun video to do. Look at all the fan art, look at all the new ideas coming out for these Paradox Pokemon. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, friends. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next one.